Hello students, hope you are doing well and in pink state of health. So today we are going to start about GK session and this session gives you information about the people and the things which surrounds us. Before starting this session, I would like to tell you what GK is. GK is essential component of crystallized intelligence. So students, let's start this session and grab some information and store it into your cerebrum as I told you in the science session, it is the largest part of our brain and it is the most intelligent part of our brain. So let's start the session. But in this session, we are going to cover five chapters. So we will go according to the chapter numbers. So first one is unusual plants. So let's before starting this, I would like to tell you that plants are very important for us it plays integral part in our life as you know it gives us oxygen to survive and foods are also available because of plants so the first plant i would like to tell you which is unusual for us that is the puya raimondi which is a giant plant found in peru blooms one in its 8200 years of life and then it dies it's also known as Queen of Andes. Yes, this is a very important point that it is also known as Queen of Andes. So the next plant, it might be known to you. You can guess it. So I'm not going to tell you the name. I'm going to tell you about the features and characteristics. So just try to guess it. It is a plant which grows in the Malay Peninsula. It reaches a height of 33 meter or we can say 120 foot it is actually species of grass and it is king of grasses it is fastest growing grass any guesses okay fine might be you have guessed so the answer is bamboo let's move to another plant this is a world's oldest tree and some of them are 4600 years old and you can also say 4,600 years old. It is found in California, which is in USA. And might be you all are knowing that USA is United States of America. And the plant is Bristol Cone Pine. Moving to the next plant, which is also unusual. And it is the world's smallest flower. So, the plant is Wolfia globosa. We have ended up with the first chapter, which was about unusual plants. Now, the second chapter talks about birds. And the name of the chapter is Let's Bird Watch. So, there are many beautiful birds around the world. Let's have a look on some. So, you can see the image of bird. Wow! It's beautiful and it is national bird of Guatemala. It is found in South America. So can you see the bird? How beautiful bird is? The name is Quetzal. Now the next bird you are able to see on the screen which is Blue Jay. So this bird is native of North America. It is one of the most beautiful and intelligent bird of the world. Moving to the next, that is Mendarian duck. Are you able to see how beautiful this duck is? This bird is native of Japan and China. Seen in small flocks near fresh water ponds. You might be thinking, what is the meaning of flocks? I mean it is in the group. You know that unity makes strength. So the birds also understand this unity word. And they always remain in unite form. So unity makes strength. You also must include in your life. Unity makes strength. Moving to the next bird. You are able to see this bird on the screen. And this is very familiar bird. We have seen this bird. Yeah, flamingo. This bird is found on every continent except Antarctica. You all must aware about the continents. It has long neck and legs and bent beak. 
Now the next image you are able to see, it is a bird named after the British monarch Queen Victoria. And the name of the bird is Victoria Crown Pigeon. It can be found in northern New Guinea and surrounding islands. Moving to the next bird, which lives in the dense forest across western and central China. Male birds are more beautiful than females. Exceptional. So, the name of the bird is Golden Pheasant. Moving to the next, which is a bird known as Great Hornbill. And this is a huge bird with massive beak. And its horn is bright yellow in color. Feathers are white and black in color. So, moving to the next bird which belongs to, belongs to Kingfisher family and native of Australia forest. It cries sound like human. When the human laugh, it cries sound makes human laughter sound. And the bird name is laughing kookaburra. Moving to the next bird which is a flightless bird found in coastal South Africa has loud donkey like brain call and the name of the bird is jackass penguin now the last but not the least the national bird of israel which has a beautiful crown of feathers and a long curved beak known as hoopoe so we have ended with this chapter which is chapter number two let's bird watch Moving to the next, which is about unique flower, chapter number 3. Now, you can see how beautiful this flower is. On the screen, you can see the flower. This flower looks like colorful torch. Its petals can be red, pink or white in color. And the name of the flower is Torch Ginger. Moving to the next flower. Wow, the petals are like flame. And how colorful this flower is. So the name of this flower is flame lily. Moving to the next flower which is a heart shaped flower. It blooms in spring. And the name of the flower is bleeding heart. Moving to the next snake's head. This flower is bell shaped. You all can see on the screen the shape of the flower is like bell. It comes in various shades of purple. Moving to the last but not the least, which is a passion flower. Its fragrance is beautiful and blooms in all shades of purple. People love to eat its fruit. So we have ended with this chapter, which is chapter number 3. Now moving to the next chapter, which is chapter number 4, about adventure sports. Now students, you can see the slides on your screen and the words, the letter of the word which are given in a pattern which is not arranged properly. So you have to arrange the letters properly and you have to make a name of the sport. So you can identify the sport with the help of the image. Any guesses about the sport? Might be you have done. So the answer is skiing. Okay, the next image. Are you able to set the words, set the letters in a right way? Fine. The word, the game is the sport is kayaking. The next slide. It's too easy. Ice climbing. Now the next. Everybody goes to do this in the uh, in the summer break. Yeah, it's paragliding. Now the next one. You all have done this. Bungee jumping. Now the next. Seems to be difficult. But easy. It's surfing. Coming to the next. Which is chapter number 5. About Indian newspaper. So you know that a large number of newspapers are published in different languages in India. Let's gain knowledge about some. So you can see the first paper. 
which is and it is a marathi paper now the next you can see the paper ajit and this is in the punjabi language so it is a punjabi paper i mean in the punjabi language this paper is written so the next one the times of india i think you all are aware about this newspaper it is in english language now next is hindustan so you know that our mother tongue yeah exactly you are thinking in the right direction which is hindi now the next one is the hindu which is one of my most loving paper i love this paper you can also read the content of editorial page and enhance your speaking skills and vocabulary this is one of the lovable paper of mine so the hindu is in english coming to the next navbharat times exactly it is in a hindi language next slide ayana do which is a telugu paper the siyasat daily yes which is a urdu paper coming to the anand bazar patrika which is a bengali paper and the last but not the least which is a malayala manorama which is a malayalam paper so we have completed all the five chapters in this session take care and get ready for the next session.